Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dolphin254 and guys, I'm so excited today. As you can see, I've started this video differently. This is not the way I normally start my videos. I've started it with an African traditional dance because the entire video will be all about African culture. So I'm gonna be taking you to the biggest, biggest craft market here in Africa, precisely Kenya. And I'm going to take you to none other than Karyoko market. This is a market that is well known for craft items. So if you're visiting Kenya for the first time, this is definitely the place to visit and if you are in need of craft deco items or craft gift items for your friends family members this is definitely the place to visit because you'll get value for your money you'll get genuine items at an affordable price of course so as we all know many people have made videos on where to get craft items but most of them talk about Maasai market but I've decided to do this differently I've decided to take you to Karyoko market because most of the things that are sold at Maasai market come from this place guys so what does that mean it means that this place you'll get things at a cheaper price and of course you'll save some money because that is always my main aim so if you can save something small by coming here please do so let's watch this video to the end and if you're seeing me for the first time kindly subscribe to my channel click that red button below subscribe to my channel watch my other videos and uh, let's do it As you can see guys, I'm already at Karyoko Market. I'll be taking you to different stalls, like different stalls sell different things. So I'm going to take you to the first stall where you can get two Ven handbags. These handbags come in different sizes and different prices of course. Like these bags have become so trendy here in Kenya. From the time they banned the polythene bags, these are what most people use for shopping, for casual, for events. So these handbags are so trendy. You can see we have clutch bags and other sizes of the bag. So have a look, maybe you'll get something for yourself. So keep watching. So next I'll be taking you to a jewelry stall guys. I can't wait to share with you these pieces. Like these people have amazing things. We have bracelets, we have necklaces, we have earrings and name them guys. So follow me, let's watch this together and watch as you watch the screen because I'll be sharing their prizes on the screen guys. So I think they have the amazing prizes ever. So watch the screen to see their prizes and watch to the end for you to see these pieces so let's keep watching guys So as you can see guys, these people also have key holders, like these ones that I'm holding right now, they are selling them at 150 shillings. They also have bottle openers, 
as you can see everything here is made in Kenya and they are very beautiful pieces like uh, anyone can wish to have them right so let's keep watching as you see more pieces of good stuff oh my god have a look at these beautiful pieces of necklaces guys you can see them they are so pretty like oh my god they are so african these people also have these beautiful pieces of earrings guys have a look for yourself they are in different sizes and different prices of course and they are made of different material like some are plastic some are made of beads and some are also made of brass and some are made of coated gold so have a look at them i think anyone can get something for herself here okay so have a look at it continue watching as we wait to see more pieces of goodies So finally I'm gonna be taking you to a courier shop this is now the shop where you'll get most of the beautiful pieces so you can see the one that I'm holding this is something so precious that you can gift someone so we also have these two carved animals we have zebras we have giraffes we have warthogs we have everything here guys I want you to watch them for yourself I know you'll definitely get something for yourself so keep watching guys So you can see at this corner we also have candle holders. We call them couples because they are sold into two. Yeah, like you can't buy one. So you buy two, like a male and a female candle holder. So I think these people are so funny guys, but they are still so pretty. Like you see, have a look for yourself. They are so pretty guys. So apart from the couple things, we also have these beautiful pieces of wall hangings. Like I'm really in love with these guys. I always love putting them in my home. Like I use them for home decos and they are so beautiful. Like they are so unique. Anyone who sees these will see something unique in your home. So I think you can get something for yourself here also. So I'm loving it. Especially this big one. Like the mom who is breastfeeding. I really love that.
they also had these beautiful stickers that you can use for your home decor so you can stick these stickers on your walls on your fridge to decorate them so i think i'm loving them because all of them were being sold at 150 shillings So they also had these beautiful uh, clothes. So these ones, we call them in Swahili, suka, suka or shuka. We use them to tie, like you can use them when you go to the beach or maybe when you're doing your home chores at home. So they are so beautiful. You can see they have African prints. We also have these Maasai shukas. They are so common here in Kenya and uh, they actually define a Maasai culture. This is a group of community here in Kenya that is so well known for tourist attractions. So yeah. They also had these beautiful pieces of cup holders and they each was going at a hundred shillings and not forgetting these trendy dashiki shirts. So these are very trendy shirts here in Kenya. Like most of people wear these shirts on weekends and on occasions. You can see the patterns and the prints. They're so beautiful. They're so pretty. So I think anyone can wish to have these, right? how much okay. as you can see most of these pieces are so beautiful guys like you can use them as gift items for your loved one especially during this festive season yeah if you gift someone with these pieces at least someone will feel so good because these pieces are so unique so you can grab yours you can see we have also these leather pouches Oh, they also had these beautiful calabash shells as you can see they are in different patterns and I really love the pattern guys these are used for fermenting milk and you can also use them as a decorative item so I think they are so pretty you can give something here for yourself and you can give a loved one with this so yeah So that is it for today. We've come to the end of this video guys. I hope you really enjoyed watching the video and I hope you found the video useful. So I want to call it a day but before then I want to hook you up with the lady who sell these things in the Kuru shop. I just want her to say hi before we call it a day. So let's meet her. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dolphin254 guys. As I promised you earlier, I told you I'll take you to where I get my African beads and everything. So today I'm here in a shop in Karyoko. I'm here with my friend. You'll introduce yourself and tell them what you sell and uh, where you are located, okay? So just introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Ross Mokeli. Mm -hmm. yeah. She sells almost everything that you'll ever want. So I'll be showing you one by one the things that she sells. And guys, I've been amazed by the things that I'm seeing here. Like, have a look for yourself. 
Yani ya kona kila kitu, we huona. So, have a look for yourself. I've taken a video that I'll share with you. And I'll also share with you her number at the description box. So, whenever you come to Karyoko Market, you'll just have to call her. And she'll pick you and take you to her shop, guys. Like, the customer service have gotten here is just on another level so i'm going to show you everything that i've gotten here <laughs> everyone <dear>, bye, bye. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs>